Who wants to marry you? Joseph, hmm? when is he going to marry you? When? Oh. Next, next day, Good Friday. Is that what he said? Yes. But he has been postponing? No. Because I'm seeing him postponing. He should have married you by now. Yeah, he's supposed to marry me this December. And then what happened? Don't know. He postponed? Yes. So what do you mean by he's not, no, he's not postponing? Can I help you? Sorry? Can I help you? Yes. Go home and change your hairstyle. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. What did I say? Said I should go home and change my hairstyle. I'm not saying this to shame you. You hear? Yes. I'm saying this because I love you and I want him to marry you. Okay. You've been through thick and thin with this guy. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Or when he was not working, he was with you. You stayed. To the point of where you, you used to take care of him. Am I lying? No. Change your hairstyle. He will marry you. Amen. Because his problem right now, <laughs> his problem right now, is that what will his mother say with your hairstyle? I will change when I go home with you. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh don't laugh this is serious he's pro the reason why he postponed from December to Good Friday is because he's thinking when I get home what will my mother say <laughs> go home and change your hairstyle Amen. be a lady not long you'll be standing there and saying hey hey never postpone hey <laughs> Are you hearing me? Yes. Where is your husband? Your husband. You don't have a husband. Yes. But I'm seeing babies around you. Many babies. Yeah, I'm seeing children around you. I have one children. My sister has children. You have one child. Yes. Where's the father of your child? I don't know. I'm not sure. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you want him back? No. You don't want him back? No. You want another one? Yes. Can I advise you? Yes. When you find another one? Yes. Close your mouth. Yes, that's true. I can Yes. Because even this one who left. You are always talking. Always talking. Always talking. Am I lying? No, it's true. Okay. So when God gives you another one, please. Hmm? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Mobile Miaza. I stay here in Winnipeg. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today and also confirm it? Yes. Uh, prophecies told me that I talk too much and this is true. I know that I talk too much. Yes. And then she told me that when I found a right partner, I must shut my mouth. And this thing of you talking too much, is it something that you grew up doing or is something that started recently? I think it started recently because now I, I do have a boyfriend and he used to say that I talk too much. So it is true. And when you will talk too much, what would happen afterwards? We will just stop talking. Nobody will talk to each other. We will just, just stop to talk because he's tired. I talk too much. And what do you think brought about this issue of you talking too much? I, I don't know. I, th I think in, in the past I've been hurt, so I think I'm controlling him. And now that the woman of God has told you to stop talking too much, what are you going to do? What is it that you have decided to do? I decided to take advice. 
because I know that this is the main problem to our issue. And what is it that you believe God will do for you since you have received this word of prophecy today? I believe that as the prophetess told me to shut my mouth, as I will be shutting my mouth, he is going to marry me. Words of encouragement to the viewers? To the viewers out there, when the prophetess is talking to you, it's not like she's talking something you know, you know, we don't know. You must just be honest and talk the truth. Amen. Sissy, you need to be serious with your salvation. It's true. Or the devil is going to kill you. Are you hearing me? Yes. What did I say? The devil will kill me. I must be serious with my salvation. Because you are on and off, on yes. and off, on and off. Mm. What's making you to be on and off? I don't know. You need to be serious with your salvation. Yes. Or I'm not seeing you living long. It's true. Because now the enemy is seriously after you. You were not married. Now God has given you marriage. You are dragging your legs. Are you hearing me? Yes. Because of your marriage now, you are reluctant and the devil is behind you. Yes. And this is a spirit that wants to kill you. Because you are already sick. Yes. Hmm? It's the same spirit that is making you to be sick. So that you don't enjoy this marriage. Now you evil spirit, come out of my sister. What are you doing to her? Eh? Why you nyako mulai? Eh? Why you nyako mulai? Eh? Bolela ka bontsinye tsana ko wa o nyako mulai? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You will kill her. Kill her now. Kill her now. Kill her now. You will kill who? Me. Kill me now. Was that again, Papa? Take out your things and go. Take out all your diseases, all everything, and you go. Hurry up. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. One, two, three. Come out. In Jesus' name. You are free. Be serious with your salvation. God has healed you now. You are fine. You have no pain in your body, isn't it? Yes. The pains are gone. There was something on your shoulder. On your shoulder. It was heavy. It was heavy. Yes. And now, how are you feeling? Gone. It's gone. Yes. You are healed. Thank you, Jesus. Do not ever <laughs> in your life. Forget your salvation. Are you hearing yes, me? Yes. You are free. Thank you. Go and enjoy your marriage.
Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Poshia. I come from Captain Park. Yeah. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from Prophetess Tendo this morning and also confirm it? Yeah, it's true. I've been sick. I thought it's just a diarrhea, but now I can see that it was a serious thing. Uh, and when did this diarrhea started? Since Saturday. Even, even yesterday, and uh, I was feeling something on my shoulder. My shoulder was heavy. But since they prayed for me, now nothing on my shoulder. And how was it affecting you? You, yeah, I was always tired. And uh, I'm no longer coming to church. And I don't have any reason why I'm not coming to church. Yeah. And did you expect to be located today by her? Yeah, I pray about it. I pray the Lord. Yes. And when they prayed for you, you were manifesting. Can you tell us what was happening? I was just feel dizzy. Yeah. And how do you feel now? Now I'm okay. I'm okay. 100% I'm okay. There is no pain. There is no any anything. Like I'm, I'm free. Any words of encouragement to those that are watching? Those who are watching, I just want to tell them, don't ever go back. When you receive Jesus, don't ever go back again because Satan will kill you. So I will never go back again. This is my home. I love Jesus. I love God with all my heart. I just want to thank you for everything. Thank you for my deliverance. Yes.